camera traps are a wonderful tool and they send out a beam. It's a motion sensor. And when that beam is interrupted by some kind of movement, it either snaps a picture or it starts a video and it captures whatever it is that has interrupted the beam. So since we have had the camera traps up, this has helped us to monitor wildlife much, much more accurately. The camera traps are great because they give us documentation of what we've got here. They're also great because they also document anyone who's coming in here illegally for poaching or illegal logging. So since the camera traps have been around in the sanctuary, that has also helped very much and cutting down on trespassers, poachers, etc., because they know the camera traps are there. And so that inhibits them, uh, and that's, that's a big plus. Older camera traps used to give off a white candescent flash at night. Now that gives you color photos, but it also disturbs the animals. And anybody who sees it, who's trespassing, can see it also. But now most of the camera traps we have shoot through a, through a filter. So humans can definitely not see the red glow. So they're caught. And most animals can't either, with possible exception of somber. But other animals basically can't see the light coming through the filter. So you are able to document behavior of animals not being disturbed by humans and see how they interact with one another. And so it's been a very big plus all the way around since we've started the camera traps some years ago.